In 2012, the app Vine burst onto the scene and would be the platform responsible for delivering some top tier classics. Sometimes one viral video is all it takes to launch the creator into a long and established career. But for the majority, that's all it is, one viral video before a slow fade into obscurity. Some go out with dignity, but others will do whatever it takes to suckle at the teat of internet fame. From a self-proclaimed bodybuilder, rapper, viral viner, and gay porn star, to a felon, this is the story of Brian Silver. Buckle up, because it's one hell of a ride. Swag, 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 swag. The year is 2013, and 22-year-old self-proclaimed bodybuilder Brian Silver would post his first video to Vine. If you're not familiar with Brian, you may be surprised to hear this is probably the most modest video he would post. Soon Vine would be littered with videos of a shirtless Brian flexing on all of us regular folk. But his chiseled physique wouldn't be the most shocking thing. It was his constant and unapologetic use of the N-word. All I do is flex. I fuck all the niggas bitches to get respect. Swag. In a little under a year, Brian would post a video that would net him 272,000 likes, 240,000 rewinds, and over 25 million views. This is not even counting views he received over different accounts on Facebook and Instagram. Let me introduce you to the infamous Gratata video. That fufu lame shit I ain't with it. I sent some shots at your bitty. Gratata. Swag, bitch. While the views flooded in, Brian would continue to make similar videos in front of his mirror, but also launch his rap career with songs such as Swag Like Brian, Swaggin', and my personal favourite, Gratata. Rap wouldn't be his only business venture, I mean it seems he had endless hustles in fitness, clothing, music and more. During the height of his virality, Brian would also feature on Celebrity of the Week on Tosh.0, which would be aired on the 9th of September 2014. Unfortunately, much like when you're at the zoo, there's only so long a monkey throwing its own excrement will draw a crowd. With millions of eyes now on him and his videos on every platform, it wouldn't be long until someone discovered that Brian Silver had starred in a gay porno. Much like how I will react if anyone checks my internet browsing history after looking into this topic, Brian tried denying it. No, I'm not gay and I never did gay porn. Stop saying I did that shit, you foo -foo ass lames. Though try as he did, it was a clear-cut case. What's up, dude? What are you working on? But if you thought that this would cause him to drop his persona, you would be dead wrong. Where's all my beautiful ladies at, huh? They're hot, 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 hot. Swag, bitch, let's get it. Brian would continue to post videos on Vine and create music for a fleeting audience. That is, until the 3rd of January, 2016. Breaking news first at 6. Right now, a man is in custody, in police custody, after barricading himself inside a Charlottesville home. Around December 2015, 25-year-old Brian met his 17-year-old girlfriend online. The girl in question was reportedly homeless at the time and living in another state. Soon, Brian would fly this girl out to Charlottesville to live with him. However, this relationship would quickly turn sour, and on the 3rd of January 2016, Brian would reportedly take a large amount of Xanax and threaten the 17-year-old with a gun when she attempted to leave. Eventually, he would throw her belongings out of his apartment, and a neighbour would help her call the police. When police showed up to Brian's apartment, he would barricade himself inside, and a standoff would ensue. During the standoff, Brian would periodically post videos of himself inside the house to his audience. After three hours of this, police would use tear gas to force him outside of the house, and he would be arrested for firearm possession and abduction. As the victim did not want to testify and left the state, the abduction charges would be dropped and Brian's lawyer was able to negotiate house arrest while awaiting sentencing. Under the agreement, Brian would be under his mother's full-time supervision, tracked by GPS and banned from using the internet. On October 2016, Brian would be sentenced to more than a year in prison for the gun possession charge, and while serving his sentence, would meet his future wife, Melissa Barney. But for Brian, this would not be a happy marriage. Soon after being released from prison, Brian would reunite with his wife at her parents' house, where they would have dinner. After, Brian would fall asleep, and Melissa would go through his phone, coming to the conclusion he was cheating on her. Angered by what she had found, Melissa punched Brian in the mouth while he was asleep, and would later claim he retaliated and hit her back. 
After the altercation, Brian tried leaving the house, and in an effort to stop him, Melissa would call the police. When the police arrived at the home, they found Brian outside with his suitcase and a bloodied lip. Brian would tell police he never really knew what his wife was like and was now considering divorce. Both Brian and Melissa would then be charged with disorderly conduct, but despite this, the couple would stay together. After his release from prison and marriage, Brian would start an OnlyFans account and finally make the transition to Vine's younger brother, TikTok. It would seem Brian felt he needed something outlandish to regain the attention he had garnered in the past. I could try to explain the strategy to you, but I think it's best you see for yourself. Y'all ever just be chilling in the rain, and you just get that urge to just fuck a dude? You know what that is? That's swag. <laughs> to be lit and to have muscles with abs like me, and rock all this Supreme, and drive fast cars, you gotta do one thing and one thing only, and that's bang dudes. Brian, where are you going? Where you think I'm going? I'm on my way to fuck a dude. I can't believe I'm outside, and I'm on my way to fuck a dude and get my suck from the back, if you know what I mean. Swag, bitch. He would also dabble in some ASMR, which actually got pretty decent views for his channel. But it would seem Brian's life would take an unfortunate turn. On September 18th, 2021, Brian would post a video titled, Reasons on why my wife, Lissy Barney, and I are getting a divorce. In it, he would reveal that after Lissy had inherited money, she left him. Literally, I already know what the issue is. You got your money, and then you just said, fuck him. That's what's happening. Things would go from bad to worse for Brian, and on May 18th, 2022, Brian would post another video to YouTube titled, My ex-wife is cheating on me with 25 plus dudes for no reason. This video would just be a live stream from her Instagram where she is at another man's house and he is messaging her to leave. He would post another video with the same title which would be another live stream of his wife in a similar setting, and then a third titled, My ex-wife is a thought and a junkie which again was another live stream of her with another man. Around the same time, his Twitter would be littered with messages that possibly have meaning to someone but no real context for those on the outside looking in. On May 31st, 22, Brian would post a tweet informing his followers he was back in jail and would be out on the 25th of July. The life of Brian Silver almost seems like a movie with all the twists and turns and his ego, but it's most certainly not one I'd ever want to live. I don't think he could predict what he's planning next, but we can only wait and see what happens after the 25th of July.